the prong shader. The prong shader, if we go up to our shader uh, basic parameters and we go down and we choose the prong shader, we're going to find that the prong shader is very similar to the blend shader. The only difference is in the highlights that are produced. The highlights in the prong shader are very good for flat, regular shaped surfaces. So if a hood of a car, for example, the flat, nice, shiny surfaces will come out better as a prong uh, shader. And the prong shader has all the same parameters in the basic parameters and the specular highlights as the blend shader does. So if you go back and take a look at the blend shader in the ANSI Scaropic videos, you'll see all these particular settings. So the prong shader is essentially, essentially very similar to the blend shader, except the differences in the highlights are stronger, and so it works better for big regular surfaces uh, that are uh, smooth surfaces and things like that. Works out really well for that type of application.